Passing FOSTA SESTA has had some unintended consequences. Companies like Microsoft are now going to really, you know, go gung ho on some of the policies that I've talked about in the past, but they hadn't spread to other other services and it hadn't been that well known, but they're going to up, be updating their services so they could pretty much, they could ban you from using their services for swearing or having files that are, um, that contain nudity. Let's say if you put it on, on your OneDrive, um, for <laughs> having sexually explicit conversations in, in, in Skype, for swearing in Skype, for swearing in an Office 365 document. Those sorts of things. This could affect companies in a really negative way too, you know. Um, this is like this is taking everything that sucked about Facebook or st and still sucks about Facebook, and multiplying it by, you know, ten. That's how bad this this thing they have coming up is, and I'm it well that it looks like. A whole bunch of articles are talking about it. And it could be fear-mongering. I hope it's fear-mongering. I hope it's it's nothing to the extremes. But if if it really is as bad as what it's looking like, um, well, I imagine there's going to be some lawsuits. But I think a lot of people will go switch to Linux. Um, and maybe if enough people switch to Linux, maybe companies like Adobe might actually release their stuff for Linux. That would be really nice. That would be nice to be able to drop the Windows ecosystem because they, I mean, they're really, really trying to cram this, this new uh, uh, UWP, Universal Windows Platform. They're trying to cram that down everyone's throats and that's all about the stuff that they can monitor your behavior. Um, they're trying to move out completely away from anything desktop. I don't see this going well for Microsoft in the end, but... Eh, for a period of time, the people are going to put up with this shit. Um, I don't know. We're going to see what happens. Let's hope it's not as bad as what a lot of these articles are pushing. Let's hope that it's just fear mongering. Just like um, how there were some people that were fear mongering about the end of net neutrality. Uh, oh, it's going to instantly cause some some issues. No, it's not going to instantly cause some things. We will probably see some things a few years down the line that uh, that companies will do that they wouldn't have been able to do before. But I don't think it's going to. Anyway, um, so this is kind. Of, this this could be somewhat like fear mongering, like that. Let's let's hope it is just fear mongering, right? 